Hey guys, Fishing here. Welcome back to another how-to video. And today I'll be showing you how to make a wearable dress in Minecraft. And before we get into it, please subscribe. I spent 12 hours on this. I was I'm tired now. This is like the longest tutorial I spent on because it's so confusing. But now I think I have a good understanding on doing this. So here's a few things you need to do. Um, you need to ha have cheats on, so because we need a bunch of command blocks. And you have to be in Java Edition. This does not work in Bedrock. So you have to be in Creative Mode to use the command blocks. And you want to give yourself a command block. You're going to need a few of these. And you're going to need a few armor stands. And now I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. So the first one, we're going to do the first one first. And what are we going to need? Uh, we can do the armor stand bit first. Or, you know, I'm just going to put a command block down here before I forget. And it's turning night time, so let me just quickly do that. So what I'm going to do is you're going to put down eight, uh, eight armor stands. I was like, what the heck is the, <laughs> what are these called? So we're going to do one facing this way, one on an angle, one... Oh, is there a better way of doing this? Oh, I guess you can do it like this. You can, go, you can stay in the center, I guess. Like that. Like this, like this. Make sure you're in the center. That, that, that. So now you're surrounded by a bunch of armor stands. Don't worry, they're not gonna look at you like that one, like those armor stands. And now you're gonna tag all of these. So I'm gonna go back inside. And should I do this inside? I don't want to accidentally tag the wrong. Uh, I'll try inside. So I'm gonna go to one of them. We're gonna look at them dead in the eyes and go slash tag. There's going to be some weird numbers here. That'll be the one you're looking at. You're going to do add, and then you want to put one that you will remember. So I'm going to do, hopefully I didn't use this tag when I'm testing it. I'm going to, actually, I'll just do dress vid one, just in case. So that's going to be just vid one. We're going to go to the next one. Tag E, add dress test, oh, no, dress vid two. So then you guys... You need to remember these, so just, I guess you can call it the same, and just go through all of them, and, oops, tag you at dress vid 3, and you just keep going for all of these. Uh, dress vid 4, I'm going to show you all this, so you guys, now you guys get confused, and just see the command now, dress vid 5, just in case I forget to put it in the, the description because you don't know. I tend to forget these days. Six and your seven. Dress vid seven. And you tag at dress vid eight. Just to confirm. Yeah. Sometimes if you, if you accidentally give them two tags, you can remove it by, you know, going here and list. And if there's only one, you're fine. I'm, I think I got them all good. So the first way is to get yourself a eight Elytras and just give them all of these Elytras. This is one way because this has that cool design that you're probably not going to get with any other thing. So after doing that, we're going to go back inside. Now you're being stared at a bunch of... <laughs> okay, this is spooky. Actually, you don't even need to be inside. Let, let, we'll stay outside this time. I don't want to get scared in there. So now we're going to use another command. So we're going to do data merge entity at E. And we're going to make this a little easier so we can just basically copy and paste this one. We're going to do tag equal dress vid one comma limit one. So now we just, all we have to do is copy and paste this command and just change this number to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But we need to first do uh, this. So we're going we're gonna to add all these NVT tags to it. So first we're going to make inver uh, invertible. And now I can't say that word properly anymore. Did I spell it correctly? If you spell it incorrectly, you're never going to know if you actually spelled it incorrectly. I think I spelled it right. If I didn't, well, oh well. 
we're gonna add invisible unless you want to see the armor stand um what else do we need oh yes the, an important one no gravity you got you need that one you need to have and then this one's optional disabled slot actually it probably should be required a oh my god now i can't spell disabled slots disable slots oh i didn't even say capital i for enable capital i for invisible and n and g capital n and g for no gravity and then capital d and s for disabled slots colon 1b oh no no not 1b it's a magic code called 16191 so this makes it so you don't accidentally put in you accidentally don't put armor on it or take off the armor because last minute I ran into that issue and what else that's it I think so now we got the first one invisible and all you just need to do is just keep going back here and just basically copy paste and just change all of these and this is a way to see if one of your if you do have one with multiple tags on it it won't disappear or go invisible or it won't even that's the only way you can see it going invisible so six seven and eight there you go they're all invisible that means we probably did a good job on all of those i'm going to move this command block here so we're, now we need eight command blocks we actually don't put the eight command blocks we'll work on one and then we just copy it so in this command what we want to write is execute precision as i think yeah at player so or you just write your name if you're if you're on a single player you just put at p if you're on a server Put your name if you want it for yourself. If you put at P, it will just go to this closest player. I'm going to just write at P. And we're going to run, teleport, and we're going to use, uh, I guess this is the powered symbol. or Yeah, so isn't that powered symbol? What is it called in math? I already forgot. And now for this one, we just have to add a number to the middle. So you could either do negative 0.5 or 0.75. This is how low the um, the armor stand will go. So I'm gonna for now use. Wait a second, I'm missing something. Oh no, one. Oh, silly me! I forgot to put at e here. Tag equal. What did I name it? I already forgot. Oh, dress vid one. <laughs> See, I'm so bad. So you need to put run teleport the entity, the armor stand, to here. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you. So this is how low 0.5 is. I'm just gonna go in F5. So this is how low that is. And then 0.75 is gonna go a little lower. Oh, I don't have it as a repeating command block. Silly me. And it's a little bit lower. I think 0.75 works better. I mean, it depends on what skin you have. For me, I think 0.75 works. You want to change this to a repeat command. I'm going to quickly move this one here. And now we're just going to do control and the copy button you have. So you can copy the block. And basically, you're just going to put these eight times. So four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're just going to run back to all of these and change this to 2, change this to 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, that is not 7, <laughs> 7, and 8. And I'm just going to make this easier. Instead of putting a bunch of levers, I'm just going to redstone it all so my life is easier you can probably combine all these blocks and just do it like that but i just like to keep them separated just in case i need to double check something and then when you turn this lever on all these dresses come to you and you got yourself 
a lovely a grayish dress, I guess. It's actually one of the most designed ones, I feel like. So yeah, you can have a resource pack and test it. And now if you don't like when you're running, it's like following behind you. You could, it's a temporary solution, but just throw yourself a, uh, can you, hey, can you move another command block here? Oops, I missed. And here, you're going to write, uh, effect, give, I wrote effective in my script. And at equal, who wrote my script today? That's so bad. It's effect give at p slowness one five or four, depending on if you're gonna walk or sprint. And you might be wondering, oops, wait, I'm gonna do that. This is so you don't. So it, it looks slightly better, but you walk slower. And anyways. Uh, you, I, you're supposed to walk slower in dresses so you don't tear it or, you know, get it ruined. So it's slightly better, as you can see. You know, the last time I wore a dress, you know, I was walking this slow. So, yeah. Can you stop moving? Okay. Yeah, so that was a while ago. Unless dress technology changed and now you can walk faster in a dress. But I don't know. That was a while ago last since I last wore a dress like that, I guess. Oh, right. Now enough with that, that's one of them. Now if you don't like to go to changing your texture pack for this, you can make a custom one with banners. So you got all these lovely colors. You can even customize the banners and then put it on the armor stand. But that's a little bit more confusing and I'm not gonna show you that in this video because I'm not 100% sure on how to do it yet. But once I do figure it out, I'll make an updated video on that so basically same procedure you're gonna tag all of these um, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys all, this all again because why not I'm gonna name you pink pink dress viz one actually that's too long uh, we'll do mm, yeah we'll do a pink one but pink vid, I guess we'll do pink vid one it's turning nighttime, but I'm gonna leave it dark. Pink vid two because probably everyone's gonna skip this part, or maybe I'm gonna cut it out of this video. Who knows? Tag a a add pink vid four. Bid five. Oops. Pink vid six. Am I spelling all these? Uh oh, I, I just lost where I was. Is it? Are you next? No. Okay. Good. You're seven. <laughs> Pink vid seven. And. I think you're eight, hopefully. Actually, I'm just gonna list just in case. Okay, you're eight. Pink vid eight. Alright, after that, let's make it daytime so you guys could see. Now we're gonna do a data merge. So we're gonna do data merge entity. Oh, that's not it. Entity at E tag uh, equal pink vid one limit one oops limit one and we're gonna put down a bunch of tags so it's, some of them is the same but a lot of it is different there's I think two or three extra things no just two things so we're gonna put the new one first armor items with a capital A, capital I, colon, that is not a colon, colon, square brackets, and inside we're going to do curly bracket, comma, curly bracket, comma, and a curly bracket. And inside the last one, we're going to put count with a capital C, colon, one, comma, ID, lowercase, and then you're just going to put pink banner, 
And now if you know how to customize it, you just put it here in the command form, but I don't know how to do it yet, and I probably will make an update video on how to do this eventually once I figure it out. And then you go outside the uh, curly bracket and square bracket, and then do comma, and then you're gonna do in vernable, and I think I spelled it wrong again. Did I spell it wrong? I'm not even sure. Comma invisible, I N V I F B L E one B. Am I spelling anything correctly now? No gravity, G R A V T Y one B. Watch me spell all of this wrong, and then I'm gonna laugh. Disabled. D I S A B. Someone's gonna laugh at me in the comments, being like, "Bro, you spelled all of this wrong." One six one nine one. Comma. And then this is the also the new thing you need. Pose colon with a capital P. Uh. Curly bracket capital head with the colon square bracket and then you're going to put 210 F comma 0 F comma 0 F and there you go of, of course I did something wrong of course what did I do wrong this time it's always something here I do something wrong but I never tend to figure it out. What? Why do I do? What do I do? Something wrong here. I'm gonna quickly run over to my horrible testing area because is it? Where is it? Is it this one? It is armor items. Colon. Oh, is it three? Oh, I accidentally forgot. Oh, it's four. Oh, silly me. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go back here. Is it actually four? So we're gonna just go back here, colon, curly bracket, comma. Yep, it's four, not three. Okay, I don't know why I keep confusing that. I mess. See, whoever wrote this script, which was me, forgot to put the extra colon. Okay, so you need four curly brackets and armor items, and then you're gonna get yourself this. And now you just basically copy. And just go back and forth, and pasting all of this over and over again. And probably everyone left me again and skipped forward. Or I edited it out. Who knows? But this is not going to take that long. Five. Is this copying and pasting? Come on. Six. Look, I'm almost done. No, please don't leave me. <laughs> Please. Okay, we're done. See, see, it wasn't that hard, right, guys? And I'm just gonna throw. And then for this one, we have what do they call it? I'm just gonna use the old one, pink vid one. And this one, I believe you don't actually need to change this one. Yeah, I think this one you could just leave it just like that. So I'm gonna throw that out, copy it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And pink bit two, pink bit three, pink bit four, five. <laughs> it's like a counting video. Six, seven, and eight. But we're only counting to eight. And then Combine all these, and we're about to put the lever right here. Switch here, okay. Boom, and you get yourself a lovely pink dress, and you can get yourself um, a crafting table, pink dye. One second, you can do this real quick. Hey, crafting table. Oh no, I hate. My oh, come on. Minecraft, why do you do that to me? I hate when I do that. It's the most annoying thing. Boom. There you go. And you get yourself. Oh. 
the color's slightly off, but you get you get the point. <laughs> uh, okay, so there you go. You got yourself a lovely dress, and you can put slowness on it and whatever. And the only issue there is is that your hitbox is actually slightly off. So you, like, we, I can't even hit this. I can't even click on the uh, crafting table. So you have to like move around and stuff. Now the only way to fix this is to lower it. But the lower you bring it, the the worse it looks like. But let's be honest here. You're not going to use this in survival. Unless you're going to use it for PvP. Because basically you're invincible with this. No one re really can hit you. Because your hitboxes are really... How do you show hitboxes? Is it G? No. No. How do I do hitboxes? I already forgot how to do hitboxes. Uh, hey, where's the hitboxes? I thought it was... Clear chat. Cycle render distance. So chunk H. Hey, these are these are not. Am I dumb? <laughs> oh, it's B. Come on. Oh, it doesn't show the armor stance hitbox. Oh, because it's invisible. But if you can look at the here, I can show you here. The armor stance hitbox is pretty big, and because we have eight of these, you're basically invincible if you don't move, unless they hit your head. But let's be honest, they're not going to hit your head. Let me quickly lower this down. My computer's going to get mad at me. Calm down, computer, please. So yeah, here you go. A wonderful dress. And another one. I guess you can go ahead and go to your next fashion show and flex on your friends. Being like, I got this wearable, lovely dress here. So yeah. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more weird videos like this one. I don't know what I'm going to do next. This is a crazy video. Um, I, guess I, I guess I can become a next fashion designer, I guess, for Minecraft. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm leaving the video. Hit that subscribe button. This video took way too long. Please subscribe. Please, pretty please. Okay. Um, hopefully I put the things in the description, else you're gonna be suffering. Or you guys could yell at me if I forget. So yeah, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and bye guys!